we start in UA where basically all of the all the students of class 1A worried you know worried about Izuku don't know what happened to him Uraka bawling her eyes out worried about Izuku you know Deku she she just wants him back and Sue Mina Jiro and some of the other girls trying to help her you know uh, to calm down she's been like this for a couple of weeks but everyone's been going through a lot Bakugo in his room damn it damn it damn it punching punching his wall over and over and over Deco where are you <sighs> Angry and pissed. Then out of nowhere, tears coming out of his eyes. Damn it. <sighs> Falling to the ground. Crying. Bawling his eye. First time in a long time. He's actually worried about his old friend. Yes, Bakugo, everything what he did to Izuku, he, he does regret it. He, re he regrets it so much. He wants to apologize to, to Izuku so badly. And seeing what happened, is seeing Izuku go crazy with rage and... Seeing Inko's dead corpse, the way Izuku looked, and seeing a dead villain, and also finding someone else's DNA, but the heroes don't know who it was, or do they? Kirishima barges into Bakugo's room, grabs him, holds him near him, and tries to calm him down. But with Nezu's office, Nezu is thinking, hmm, a lot has changed in the past couple of weeks. Well, months, to be precise. Ah, <sighs> Midoriya, where could you be? Hmm. Look on Nezu's desk, or... On, <clears throat> on Nezu's desk, there were papers and files of pe debt of um, bodies. Vi mostly villains, but there are some heroes. And with those heroes, they found out the, the heroes, what Izuku killed, were corrupted. Nezu, thinking this world has changed so much. Even heroes are going, are becoming low and corrupted. Basically, the heroes are basically just becoming villains. Back when Quirks first started, it was simple. People wanted to become heroes to save people, not to be famous, not to get the gory, not to become freaking Role models. Nezu. <sighs> Nezu doesn't know what to do. All my boat bursts through the door. And, um. <sighs> oh, all nights. What are you doing? <sighs> all my grabs a chair and sits down and looking sad. And of course, no one knew, but All Might confesses something. He, uh, Nazu. 
Hmm, so how have you been with young Midoriya outburst and you wouldn't I wanted to ask you something all night. At the funeral the way you looked at her I the way you looked and the way Yes, yeah, she was crying because it was young Midoriya's mother. It was it was, you know, young Midoriya's mother. But I'm sensing something else. Can you elaborate, All Might? Uh, I had to come out sooner or later. I've been seeing Inko for a couple of weeks now. Ever since... Ever since we... Ever since I saw her and tried and begged her for Izuku... Young Midoriya to join the dorms. I... And then after, you know, my fight... No, I... After, you know... With... You know, basically what happened in canon, I was, have been seeing her. Hmm, I see. You let me guess. Yuzuka Madoya did not know. Of course, he didn't know. <sighs> we, I kept it from him. I wanted it to be a secret. <laughs> I see you really did care. I see you cared for her deeply. I did. <sighs> and as he looks out of his window and thinks, Ah, <sighs> young Izuku Madoya. I wonder, what are you doing? And we see, in a alleyway, bl f a alleyway full of Blood everywhere and villains all over the place. We see Izuku, one eye red and one eye green. <laughs> ah, where do you think you're going? Please don't kill me. I'm a hero. No. Izuku goes down to his level. You're no hero. Pulls out a piece of paper. Fraud tax. Cheating. And... Hmm, what's this? <laughs> Rapist. And blackmailing. Innocent people. Do you really think a hero would do that? <laughs> At one point, I really wanted to be a hero just like my idol, All Might. But one bad day can change it all. Izuku grab, oh, has his hand up in a dark... His hand becomes like a dark blade. This is a new ability I've, I just got. I just got a couple days ago. And goes down and slices the hero. Head clean off. Wow. This shadow quirk is pretty neat. Hmm. I can... At first, I thought I can just make shadow clones, but I also realized I can also make shadow weapons. Hmm. Neat. Ah. Uh, what's next on the list? He pulls out. A, he pulls out a list of other of heroes. This list is pretty much just a whole. BC, it's like a bunch of pages of, of, of corrupted heroes. Hmm. This will make 50.
cro getting a getting a pen and crossing a hero's name off. <laughs> wow, Izuku, you're doing a whole lot of damage. What do you want, Void? Wow, I knew by giving you my power would be fun, but ah, uh, I I knew giving you the idea of hacking into the government and getting all the into the into the heroes, you know, that little government of heroes hacking into their system and taking, cause you know, not gonna lie. The Heroes of Safety Committee is very, very corrupted. But, like I told you, you should take them out last. They have all the dirt on every hero and they can't believe they bailed them all out. Mm. Not gonna lie. Mm. Finding out what, like, finding out a lot of corrupted heroes, mostly... A whole lot of them? Wow! That's insane! There's like... There's like a hundred of them. There's like over a hundred of them. Yikes. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. This world will bring into chaos into a new world. <laughs> Ugh. Void? Yes, Izuku. <laughs> I know you're in my head, but damn, you're very, you're very loud. Ah, uh, fine, whatever, whatever. I'll go talk to the other vesters of the users of One For All. <laughs> oh, Yuzuku. Before I go, I want you to do something for me. I'm helping you kill all fakes and villains alike. I want you... To kill. All for one for me. But he... Wow, he's in Tartarus. I don't give a shit where he is. I want my revenge. I gave him everything. And he locks me away. I really do not like that. I did not like it at all. So, I want you to kill him and take, and I will help you take his quirk. But I have, and the first user of One For All was like, what? How? No, the first user of One For All was like, how can you do that? I can do a whole lot of things. <laughs> when I mean a whole lot, uh, well, I am, by being inside of All for One for so, for so long, I kind of adapted, I kind of adapted to his quirk and became a conscious in his quirk. Basically, it's like, you know how y'all are the vesters of One for All? Me and All for One are the vesters of All for One. I am. Well, I guess you could say, I'm the original Vester of All For One. <laughs> Did you really think All For One was born with his quirk? <laughs> Not gonna lie, younger brother. <laughs> I'm not your brother. Oh, I know, I know. You and your brother, quirk, are so similar. Y'all are both. Well, before you were born, he found out he was quirkless, just like you. Until I found him and took him underneath my wing. And I taught him a whole lot. And, like how your quirk can pass down, I passed down my quirk to him. Because I thought he was a worthy successor. When, until I found out... He was pure of darkness. He didn't just take my quirk. Uh, yes, I gave it to him. But it's more like, well, I couldn't really give him my quirk. It's more like I fused into his body to allow him to use it. But 
at that moment when I did that, I helped him. And so he got all cocky and locked me away and used my power the way he wanted instead of the way I wanted him to. And the first user asked, how did you want him to use it? Ah, of course, I wasn't a hero, but I did take villain. I did take a lot of villain's quirks without knowing your fucking brother was a goddamn psychopath. A real fucking psychopath. He was hungry for power. Of course, I was, you know, uh, I'm not going to go f too deep in my, into my, into my past. But, all you need to know is, I can take my fucking quirk back. But I'm so goddamn weak right now, I can't. So I need little Izuku over there for that reason. So you're using him. No, 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 no. Well, technically, yes, I am using him, but at the same time, I'm helping him. He is better than all for one. He is a good successor to my power. You know? Well, yeah. I guess. Because I never wanted my damn quirk to be used as a goddamn villain tool and become the cool... The freaking ruler of the underworld. <sighs> I was so peaceful and kind. And of course, right one off, right one off one trapped me into the quirk. He fucking killed my whole damn family. <sighs> That's one of the reasons why I want him dead. And that's all you're going to need to know. So, a little time skip. I'm going to say two weeks have passed. Izuku has killed multiple heroes and villains. He's just going on a freaking bloody, not really a bloody rampage, but he's, but a massacre. Izuku is sitting on a rooftop. Thinking how it all came to this, how it all, how everything changed in a split of a second, how he lost everything. So he thinks he's walking through town with a hoodie over his head until he <clears throat> somehow winds up back in his in his old home walks through it and walks through his um mother walks through his old house sees his old room destroyed and sees his mother's room of course you know the apartment is destroyed it's going to take forever just to fix it with izuku's damage like, yeah, it was destroyed, but part of the building is still in, intact. And part of, you know, the house is too, but half of it's destroyed. Izuku, the only part that's not destroyed is like, Inko's room, well, part of Izuku's room is destroyed, where, but the hallway's kind of intact, and the only thing, okay. Izuku walks into his mom's room, what's partly destroyed, and he finds something. He, he, he finds something, and he just going through some stuff, and he finds a note. Hmm. It's a note to him. For his birthday. It's, and he finds out. <laughs> what the? Finds out his mother hasn't been well. Finding out she had four, I mean, she had third stage cancer. What? She, she didn't tell me. What? 
Why? Why did she hide this from me? Mm, of course, of course, like, well, it doesn't matter now. She's already dead. If you finish that sentence, I'll go into my own mind and kick your ass. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> In the best, the vestures of one for all. Look at him. Nana's like, oh my god. Why the heck? Why would you say that? I, hey, I wasn't thinking. Uh, whatever. And he finds her phone. He opens it. And go, he goes through it. Of course, it's a bit cracked, but it kind of works, and you surprised the battery is still working. Goes through it, and you see his... <laughs> Wait. Oh my, this is all its name. Toshinoyagi. What's his name doing in my mom's number? Hmm. <laughs> Izuku's eyes wide open, and he... All oh my, and my, my, my mom. Wait, he reads something about how all my, he reads, he reads something what all my texts about, about um how Inko should tell Izuku about the cancer and also about their relationship and all that. Inko is like basically saying no. She about she kind of wants to she kind of wants to keep this you know the secret of them you know fooling <clears throat> fooling around a bit a little secret you know of course you know teasing all night and all that but the cancer she's too afraid to tell Izuku he's been through a lot and she does thank All Might for helping him with his dream <laughs> wait 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 what Izuku's like wait hold on. Uh, Izuku's like, wait, hold on, wait a minute. He, she knows about one for all. The fuck? All the listeners like, damn. Boy's like, shit. I know you're smart, Izuku, but damn, your mom. Jeez. I was always wondering. I was wondering where you get your smarts from. Technically, it's not from your dad, but it's from your mom. Jeez. This is something. Hmm. Then he reads some other messages and finds out his about she. Then one of the messages asks about what about Izuku's father? Is like hmm? it was like well, wait a minute, mom never talks about dad, and. He reads the message. It's a long freaking paragraph. Basically talking about after she found out what he really what he really does. Finding out Zuku finding out his father is a is a quirk analyst and studies heroes quirks and basically takes and basically Basie's father is a assassin. Goes by the name. Sh goes by the name Black Shade. Goes by no 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 no. Goes by the name Black Noir. He's like wait Black Noir wait but in Noir that's. <laughs> Is it because I wait? But noir basically means black. And why would he name basically? Is it because I wait? So basically, his name is his name is black black. That makes no sense. And of course, Inko in the same message says, "It's kind of funny how he named his name black noir when both of the name when both names mean the same thing." And basically, he's kind of an idiot. But he's smart at the same time. Basically, he's bad and good with coming up names. He's good coming up with quirk names, but he's terrible at coming up with hero names. Zuko's like, dang. 
finding out more about his father until the phone dies. Wait, what happened? Ah, damn it, the phone died. Ah. So my father was a assassin hitman. Well, wow, that's something. Hmm. And in the message, it also said she kept a lot of his stuff in his, um, in her closet. So Izuku goes through the closet and finds his father's old gear. Basically, two pistols, one rifle, and a type of, basically, basically the costume is kind of similar to Izuku's, you know, hero costume, but instead of green with black lines, it's basically just all black with red lines. And... Izuku puts it on, well, before Izuku puts it on, he grabs the case, well, <clears throat> he grabs the case with him and jumps away, and to his, un okay, basically through this whole time when Izuku's been on his own, he found a underground, um, cave, basically, he found a, he found, he found an underneath, he found, Damn, I can't even talk. Izuku basically found a under... A basically... Basically, I'm trying to go with... He basically found his own version of the goddamn Batcave. Damn, I can't even fucking talk today. <laughs> but, yeah. Izuku has a little bit of a setup. He has computer monitors. Um, He has uh, some... Some, you know... He has like four to five... um. Damn, I can't even think what they're called. Uh, safe kits, basically. You know, like, basically have, like, band-aids. Uh, or, you know, like, alcohol things. You know, to help with, you know, with the, you know, to put it on it. It burns to heal. And, of course, you know, it's, it's a, uh, it's a white, it's a white case thing with the red, with the, with the hospital logo thing on it, basically. I can't freaking think of the name, but it's basically those things. God damn! Sometimes I, sometimes I do wish my brain can function. My, bleh, my brain can function sometimes. <laughs> Jeez, and of course, um, Izuku looks at the costume, and it's a little big for him, so he remodels it a bit. So he does, he, ta he basically takes things from his worn out, broke, basically his costume right now looks like the manga version of when, Ze when Deku left UA and it basically looks like that. Like he's barely been getting any sleep and he found, basically he found this cave like f three weeks ago, basically. Like he found this cave three weeks ago. Before, you know, before I did the time skip, basically. So, yeah. And also, this cave is underneath the, it's like, really, really deep underneath the city. So, basically, it's really, no one can really find it. <laughs> and, it's, well, basically, it's, it might be underneath the city, but it's kind of a small cave. And how he found it was, basically, it's underneath the sewer. It's underneath the sewer. Well, okay, the best way I can say it, it's underneath but connected to the sewer. Best way I'm going to explain it. And, um, he basically makes the costume where it can fit him. Of course, you know, he likes the black with the... The, the black, like the black suit with the red lines... Okay, but of course, just imagine Deku's costume, you know, f more fixed up. Well, kind of fixed up. He's, mm. of course, he likes the scary look of his new costume. So he still kept that scary look, but fixed it up where it doesn't look all, you know, all messed up. Like he fixed it a bit. 
And of course, instead of instead of a, instead of the light green what he has, he made it more of a black. He made he basically used the you know the green cloth you know cloth and the black cloth together, where it's like a greenish black more. And instead of black lines, he added the red lines. And, you know, all that. So, yeah. And, of course, he cut, he upgraded his, uh, you know, this thing right here. He, you know, the mouthpiece. He, um, he made it, okay, it's still the same, but he just added, uh, on the, uh, no, what, no, forget it, I'm just gonna keep it the same, yeah, I'm just gonna keep it the same, yeah, I'm not, really, I'm not gonna change that, really, well, it, no, wait, it was cracked, but he just, you know, he fixed it up, so it's not all cracked anymore, that'd be better, that's all he pretty much did, and he takes a rest, he hasn't, he, he hasn't been sleeping for like, uh, how can I see this? He hasn't slept in four days, and by not sleeping for four days, he kind of, you know, when you don't sleep, you get paranoid, you start seeing shit, and that's basically what's going on with him. So, yeah. Yeah. Ugh. So, by getting some good sleep, he basically sleeps for two, for, uh, he's, uh, no, no, he basically sleeps for two days. Like, he gets some good-ass sleep, too. He's knocked, like, right when he lay down cl and closes his eyes, he's like this. Knock the fuck out. <laughs> so, yeah. He's he's in dream, dream, he's in the dream world now. He's basically, he's, um, he's basically dreaming about his normal life, you know, before, you know, his mother died and all that. You know, the day, like, basically just having the dream the day it all happened. And right when his mother dies and right when he goes and right when everything goes silent and all that. He wakes up in a huge cold sweat. He's like, damn it. He gets up and gets in. Of course, you know, he had a... He, um, he gets up and he had to make his own shower. Not gonna lie, the way he had to make it get is kind of, the way he had to make it by using, um, you know, like in the sewer where how they use the dirty water, they use the dirty water and the water goes through a purifier where the water becomes more clean. You know where it comes out of the faucet. He did. He basically did something like that to get clean water. And so by doing that, he can actually. He actually made. He he made a shower. You know. He he basically made his own shower in, in his you know in the cave he lives in. So yeah, he after that he gets washed off. He dries himself off. He gets he gets clothes on, and he um. And basically, he's listening on to the police, the police, the police scanner. Yeah, and he's just watching out, thinking, "Ah, oh, today's kind of boring." Mm. Hmm? Until he's like, oh, "Whatever." He takes, um, he grabs the mic. He grabs a walkie-talkie, what has a, to listen to the, the police scanner. He gets into a, to like a, a round circle thing, and he, you know, presses a button, and it shoots him upwards. But you see, have y'all seen, um, if y'all seen the, the show called Kid Danger? You know, when Kid Danger and Captain Man go up the, t you know, basically go up the tube. It's something similar to that. He gets shot up and it starts slowing down right into a, um, into, into somewhere around the city, basically. 
you know, it, it, it basically it basically just does that. So yeah, he gets out and he explores until, without knowing, he runs into some old friends of his. He runs into, <clears throat> how, let me think, okay, he runs into Bakugo and Todoroki with, of course, with Ida and Uraraka and, you know, Kirishima with them. Deku's like, oh, shit. De Bakugo's like, Deku! Yeah. Or like Deku. He takes like he takes off his hood. He's like, what do y'all want? Bakugo is like, you bastard! You come, you're coming to UA with us. No, I'm not. And also, if you want to fight, I'm not backing down that easily. <laughs> Baka's like, I can't wait to kick your ass. <clears throat> and in Baka's mind, he's like, I can't wait to kick your ass and then tell you how I actually feel. <sighs> Damn it. And of course, this is, um, but of course, without them knowing, I'm going to say, uh, Ida calls in. Well, Texas, everyone in Class 1A, you know, to meet up at this location, they found, you know, Izuku Madoya, and don't, and of course, um, yeah, Izuku's like, damn, if you want to fight, I'll give you a fight. <laughs> and this is where we will be ending this part of you know, the what if. But before I do end the video, guys, um, not now, but I will be, I'm, I'm going to be starting a Discord server where y'all can, um, you know, join it and, you know, ask me questions of what y'all want, you know, what, you know, also what type of what if videos y'all would want me to do, you know, stuff like that. And, um, and also guys, um, I'm um, not now, but in the near future, I'm thinking about doing what if Sonic videos, you know, like, because, you know, like, not gonna lie, I do like doing what if Deku videos, and I'm, but sometimes when I, um, start doing a, you know, what if Deku series, I kind of start losing interest, and I'm thinking by doing that, I'm thinking the story will not become good and not, will not become good. So I'm thinking about slowing a little, not a whole lot, but I'm thinking about slowing a bit down on what if Deku stories, you know, the what if, what if Deku, you know, my what ifs on, on the what if Deku's. So, but I'm not, okay. That does not mean I'm not stopping my what if Deku series. I'm not stopping them. I'm just going to be slowing down where I can get back into, you know, where I can get back into enjoying the stories I do. Like, I do enjoy them, but, you know, over time when someone does something, they get bored of it over time. That's And also, I've been getting writer's block, and I, by getting writer's block, I don't want to ruin the what ifs I do. And, you know, because I want, I want y'all to like my what if videos where I want y'all, I want my, I want my fans and, you know, y'all guys who watch my videos to enjoy my what if videos. And also, not now, but pretty soon I will be doing what if Deku is Chucky. I'm gonna be, um... When I'm going to be doing that as a special video, um, whenever I get to, um, do, 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 do. okay, 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 when I get to, when I, um, 
Okay, okay. I'm not going to say now, but I'm going to put a description or I'm going to put something down to tell y'all when I'm going to post it. So, it's not going to be now, but it but I will do it whenever I, whenever I do it, I will do it. Cuz I do know someone who asks me all the time to what if to do what if Deku was, you know, Chucky the doll. And I will be doing it, but I don't know when. So, peace out and see y'all guys in the next video.